the Z Flip 5 front screen is pretty much useless unless you actually know how to set it up. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video because you probably took your Z Flip 5 out of your box and you probably saw all these videos. It's like, oh, you can do this. You can watch Netflix. You can do things on your front screen. And then you pull it up and you're like, how come I can just look at the calendar, right? So Samsung royally screwed this up. Now, Motorola did a great job. Like Motorola is very easy. You pull up the front screen and you basically just have to hit the plus button and you can add whatever app you want to the front screen. Whereas over here on the Z Flip 5, you have to go through all these additional steps. You got to go in the S Labs and you got to turn on what apps you can use on the front screen, which is still limited to like only the five. You got <laughs> We're still waiting for more additional app support there. But you have to download third party apps through Samsung's Galaxy Store, and it's called Good Lock, and then there's like this multi-window thing. Either way, I'm going to show you how to do it. So that way you can use the apps you want on your front screen. But it's so stupid the way that you have to do this, and most folks are going to miss out because, one, it's not the simplest thing in the world. I had to go through all these steps to figure it out, and a lot of people are sadly going to own a Z Flip 5 and never get to experience actually being able to use things on the front screen. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you how, and you'll see exactly how stupid this is that you have to go through all of this just to use your front screen. First things first, this is the Razer Plus. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, if you've got the Z Flip 5, let me show you how easy it is to run an app on the front screen on your Razer. So you just swipe over, you see apps, you hit the little pencil button for edit, and you add whatever you want on here. So let's say I want to add Spotify, right? So we'll add it, and now it's on the screen here. Ta-da! It's so easy. I can even play Boom Beach. You can pull up whatever. But all you do is just swipe over one screen, and then you can add whatever app that you want. Super nice, huh? Well, now let's move on to the more complicated pain in the rear end, Z Flip 5. So at first glance, this is what you get. You get a calendar. You could get like the weather, your alarms. You, it's basically a glorified widget screen. This is what I'm going to show you how to add, which is Good Lock, which is the launcher so you can add other apps on here. If you don't go in and add good lock, none of this is here. Basically, you just have this right here. You have step counter, you have your alarms. You can, you can of course, change a couple of these things, but really, there's no app support. So here's what you do. First things first, you go into the phone, right? So once you're in the phone, you go to settings. When you're in settings, you go to advanced features, and then labs. It's the very first option. So you go to labs. And then you scroll down here to apps allowed on cover screen. So this is natively what's available. And if you don't go into labs and turn this on, you can't use it. So ta-da, we've turned it on. Now you tap on here and you can see these are the only apps. These are the only apps that Samsung natively supports for the front screen. Maps, Messages, Netflix, and YouTube. And so what we're going to expect here, and I talked about this in a previous video, I guess is more app developers support this then it'll be available natively in here and you can turn it on and off. But it's, I think it's ridiculous. You have to go in here to turn this on in the first place. So now let's go to the front screen now that we've turned it on. So now you can see this. So when you swipe over, you'll see these apps, the ones that you enabled. So you've got Netflix, Messages, Maps, and YouTube. <laughs> it's a far cry from what you get over here, right? The Razer Plus, so much better in every way. Now, now we go through the convoluted process of installing GoodLock so that way you can access other apps. So once you turn on GoodLock, you can basically add whatever you want in here. So you hit the plus button, you open it up, and then right here, you can see all the different apps that you can turn on and enable. So there is a workaround for this, and it allows you to put those apps on there, but it's just so stupid the way you have to do this. So once you go on, to, you open up your phone, and we're going to go to the Samsung Galaxy Store. So we'll go, we'll go to Store. Once you go to Galaxy Store, what you need is Good Lock. So we'll search for Good Lock. Bam. So you need to install this. So install Good Lock. Once you install Good Lock, then I'm going to show you what we need to do. So we've installed Good Lock. Okay, cool. We're, we're great there. Now go to the app Good Lock, open it up, and then once you're in here, click on this one, the top option. Oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so once you get into Good Lock, there's two options, Makeup and Life Up. So you want Life Up, and then you want to select Multistar. So you'll see all these different ones, Nice Shot, Nota Star, blah, 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 all this junk. Uh, Multistar is the one that you want to enable. So once you, once you enable Multistar, you click on this top option, I Love Galaxy Foldable. And then once you're in here, 
this is what allows you to do it. You click, you'll, you'll set it up, you do launcher widget, and then that's what enables you to do it. So once you have your launcher widget enabled, this is what it looks like on the front screen. Essentially, it's a widget. And whenever you look at everything on the front screen here, they're all widgets. This is a widget. This is a widget. Uh, it's funny because when you have your phone open, you have widgets. They're basically just small little applet versions of what the normal app would be. So yeah, you're installing the good lock widget essentially. And then once you have it on here, you can add whatever you want. So you get good lock, you turn it on, you set up multi window or you set up multi star and then you're good to go. So then you can enable whatever you want. So you've got the launcher widget, it's set up and you can enable whatever you want. So then you go to the front screen. So now we've got the apps that we set up in, in the Galaxy Lab. So those are right here. So those are the, the five rinky dink apps. And then on good lock with the launcher, then you've got all this stuff. So then of course you can add it and you can use it, but you see how many ridiculous steps that you have to go through just so that you can use additional apps on top of the front screen of your phone. So many people are never going to experience this because they're not going to know. I had to Google. Like I had to Google stuff and go in and do research to figure out how to set this up so that way I could use it on my phone. And then it's like, all right, I love the Razer Plus because I love the simplicity. I love how everything works. Here you go. You fire up the, the Razer Plus. You're on the front screen. You swipe over one page. You see your apps. And then you just add it. You add whatever you want. And then it works out great. So I don't know why in the world we have it where, where basically Samsung set it up this way, but it makes absolutely no sense. Like, why in the world would you design this phone? You finally give us the front screen, which of course, this is 720p at 60 hertz, by the way. Uh, you get 120 hertz and 1080p over here on the Razer Plus, if I remember correctly. But it's like they did this so halfway and so convoluted with their design, it just... Honestly, it makes no sense to me. So hopefully this was helpful for you and you can go in, you can go forth, you can prosper, you can set up the additional apps on your phone now and that'll be great. Like hopefully this was helpful because this thing doesn't come with an instruction manual. It's not intuitive. And if you don't know what good lock is, if you don't know how to go through and do all these steps, then you're basically going to be stuck with this flip phone that you're like, oh yeah, I got this cool flip phone with this big front screen and I can look at my calendar, <laughs> right? So. Yeah. So now you've seen how to do it and now you can go out and you can download and set it up yourself. But it's just, I don't know why Samsung did this. It would seem like it would be really easy. I mean, Motorola did it. We saw in, in the video here earlier, all you have to do is just simply just swipe over, hit the plus button, you add whatever you want and it works really well on the front screen. And then with the Z Flip, it's like, all right, <laughs> you basically have to be able to do advanced calculus to try and get Netflix to work on your front screen. So that's all I got. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully this makes the experience better on your phone. Maybe Samsung will make this better at some point in time, but right now it just makes no sense to me. So that's all I got in this video. Hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please, of course, hit the like and the subscribe button, the little notification bell. If it did help you, if this is better for you now, and now your phone, you can do a lot more stuff with it. If you, if you found it helpful, then you know, go to the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear from your experience, what you think about it. Do you think that it's dumb? Because I certainly do. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys next time.